Got a lot of back channels asking me how you cut precisely. If you look here, you'll see I've got a little line. And I don't do it at all in one piece. You can see there's all kinds of little pieces. You can just perfect little inside corners, little rings, and just fill little pieces in. Really narrow little ones would have, you know, see just a little sliver between them. Uh, they don't need to be one piece. If you do a light first coat, it won't bleed underneath. It doesn't need to be the um, the background color. Just do a light coat. Now, you do have to peel this stuff off while she's green. Uh, that'll make a good line. Now, here's how I get those. Uh, you just stick a piece on here, and then I'm going to rub it. Okay. And I'll then now take my marker and trace that out. I'll then just cut it with a razor blade on the table. Okay, so this is the last little tip. Put tape down on just a little piece of wood so you can rotate it around so you can control your your knife, sort of like an engraver's vise, you know, you can you can control and do some nice sweeping lines. And put your tape on other tape. That way it won't disrupt the adhesive behind this by sticking it onto the wood and picking up fiber. Remember, the tape is stored tape on tape, and so there's properties in that tape that allow it to be released. This is the easiest. It also holds it down, and you can get some really clean lines. I then just pick it up with the corner of this and use the point of a pencil to set it in place. Very easy. Uh, try it. I think you'll find it's extremely easy and very inexpensive. Thanks for watching. Lettering, my favorite part of the machine. Okay, so this is the last step. You know, obviously tape it off. Now these are vertical. And uh, now to polish it flat, you'll see. You can see where the building primer is cutting through. This is perfectly flat. That's 320. Okay. Um, Clean that with a brush and a little bit of compressed air. So we just, you know, get all the dust out of it. Taper off, and then I'm going to add multiple coats. Okay, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm using rattle can. Nothing wrong with rattle can, oil based, trim clad. You don't spray face, you, you spray down, and you want to do that edge, and you spray that way. You let it dry. Now, when I say you let it dry, you want to be able to touch without it leaving a mark. I'm going to leave it tacky. Okay? If you do that, you could actually lay this whole can on that. It's going to take a few days to dry, but it's going to start to create, if you look, look at the, you'll, you'll see it starts to sort of give radiuses to the edges. Okay? Now the reason you don't go straight on is your sides won't get very good. So you spray this way, you know, in this direction, and you'll spray in this direction, letting it tack. Then you'll spray in this direction, and then you'll spray in this direction. Once you've got that, then you flood straight, okay? And you don't let it ever get tacky.